Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 5 of Mobile Network Overview course. I'm truly happy of seeing you here again. Okay, in the episode 4 we discussed about MSC, MSC and Media Gateway and we, talk, uh, we told something about uh, the Media Gateway functions. Uh, as you remember, we told that everything about the media and also uh, announcements and uh, three main functions, transcoder echo cancellation and call conference uh, I told to you that I will go through the details of transcoder uh, right now in this course uh, I want to talk about this and I also decided from this uh, this episode each episode would be about 10 minutes I think it would be more useful and uh, useful and effective for you uh, I will uh, I will try to uh, summarize the uh, contents uh, briefly in these 10 minutes and but the number of uh, uh, contents and episodes would be uh, more okay so uh, so what is transcoding transcoding at first uh, we should uh, we should uh, define codec what is codec Codec means uh, here, uh, in some information theory, we can say codec is coding and decoding, okay? But here in mobile networks, when we are talking about uh, voice and audio, uh, codec means compression, decompression, okay? Let me change the color. So here codec means compression and decompression. So why we compress the data? Because we, uh, as you see here, we have an analog data. Uh, we have lots of information here. Mm, so uh, Nyquist and Shannon, two scientists, found that not all of this information is necessary for us to recognize your voice so they if, uh, so they propose a very famous theorem that also right now uh, is uh, is valid uh, valid that the name of uh, that theorem was sampling Nyquist and Shannon sampling they told that uh, uh, according to a formula uh, the bandwidth that is needed for sampling is two uh, times of the frequency uh, that is uh, used here if we sampling with this bandwidth uh, uh, we can have a good pattern here uh, so as you see with the uh, with some uh, Fourier transform and some uh, methods of uh, modulation we can see that not all of this information is needed and with, the, with modulation techniques we can have uh, we can have some uh, samples of data that is needed for us to recognize and to get the uh, uh, sender uh, information as we see here we have this but after sampling we have uh, and uh, after uh, enforcing codex compressing the data we will have a modulated uh, data here after some uh, Fourier transform and mathematical operations um, as you see so why we do this because uh, this uh, much amount of information that all of them are not necessary um, uh, needs very high level of bandwidth and bandwidth lead to cost the more bandwidth the more cost but we don't like to increase our cost so uh, it's better to find a solution to uh, without without losing the quality and without losing the uh, information uh, that we need to uh, get the sender uh, uh, data uh, we need something to have uh, less bandwidth okay so this technique was created for this as we see here 
uh, one of the the first uh, one of the first codec and the technique that and the technique that use here for um, for making this for uh, making this uh, sampling means codec so the technique that is used for sampling this data and make them compress here as you see this is the modulated data many of information that is not necessary for recognizing the uh, the information uh, uh, is codec we have lots of codec right now and uh, each codec is uh, based on algorithm okay but one of the first codec that uh, used in uh, mostly in telecommunication is PCM postcode modulation so let's see what is PCM you know according to Nyquist Shannon okay Nyquist uh, sampling theorem says that the sampling rate should be um, more than or equal to two uh, two times of maximum frequency in the signal uh, and as you know uh, the uh, let me find the uh, uh -huh. as you know maximum frequency of uh, voice that we can hear uh, and we can recognize is 4k hertz okay 4k hertz so according to Nyquist Shannon theorem we need 2.4 thousand which is 8 thousand sample per second okay and as in each samples we have 8 bit or 1 byte uh, totally we have uh, here we have 64,000 kilobit per second uh, bit per second which is 64 kilobit per second okay and the sampling period is also one uh, one on 8,000 which make it 125 microseconds okay uh, so with this um, technique we found that we didn't need all the information here we didn't need all the information here we sample some of them we sample some of them as you see also here we don't need all, in, all of the information we sample some of them and um, after sampling uh, it shows that we have a um, optimum bandwidth for this and it, it was the one of the first uh, codec that, we, uh, that was used in the telecommunication right now many codecs have been developed for example uh, AMR AMR2 is widely used uh, in uh, CS uh, 2G 3G uh, and in 4G Volta uh, we have we are using AMR wideband AMR which means adaptive multi-rate that if I I can show you something here uh, adaptive multi-rate you can search about it in Wikipedia or some other references the adaptive multi-rate audio codec is, a, is an audio compression format comprised for speech coding AMR speech codec consists of a multi-rate narrow band na AMR speech codec consists of a multi-rate narrow band a speech code that encodes the narrow band signal level at variable, uh, vari uh, at variable bit rate ranging from 4.75 to 12.2 kilobit per second with 12 quality starting at 7.4 kilobit per second okay and many other um, uh, codecs there are for example you can you can search what is a skype codec you will see that this is the codec that is used for a skype uh, for some of them also uh, are custom for example i didn't see this codec anywhere else and uh, maybe it's custom for the skype mm, you see here and we can find the uh, 
bandwidth and some other information about that and also sampling and you can see or for example you see in apple uh, apple iphone we have facetime and they also have a codec which you can see in the codec that is used in facetime google we can see that uh, i think uh, the codec uh, let me check aac eld video and audio codecs okay so this uh, it was a little about uh, what uh, what is codec and what media gateway do uh, for this code and about the, um, some concepts that i told to you about the releases you can see here let me let me show you i told that uh, based on uh, we have some generations in mobile networks and uh, this uh, and one another concept is release releases that's related to the um, architecture or something else that is not a big change uh, led to a generation okay a new generation for example in, in uh, 2000 uh, to 2003 we have uh, introduced 3GPU introduced R99. As I told to you, there were there um, there was one core network based on TDM. So C uh, so um, control plane and user plane was not separated. We had just one core that was mobile switching center. In 2001, uh, 3GPU introduced R4, which core network separated the CP and UP. And MSC and Media Gateway was separated and connected together through H248. This protocol. Okay. And in R5, uh, IMS introduced and uh, and so on. In R7, R and uh, right now we have, as I uh, I can show you here, right now. Uh, um, in 2000, uh, we are in 2021. You see, oh, sorry, let me show you. Uh, in 2021, uh, we have uh, the R17 will release about 5G evolution. Uh, right now, the R R16 5G and R phase 2 is released. Okay. So, as you see here in R99, uh, 3G core network is uh, separated into CS and PS. It was the first architecture. We have a, uh, we have a sh we had a shared core CS for circuit switch, as I described before in the previous uh, previous episode, and PS for data. You can see. Um, critical and main network elements for CS uh, are MSC VRL. This is not very important. I will tell about this before. Uh, uh, sorry, in the later. And PS, uh, the main nodes are SGSN and GGSN, as you see here. And this is the uh, access. Okay. And um, we see here we have some external networks which for CS uh, uh, we suppose to have PSTN public switch telephone network or fixed net uh, or the network for fixed telecommunication and here uh, we have internet or some other networks uh, or intranet or something else mm, but in R4 MSC divided into MSC server and media gateway call control is separated within media bearer function you see here it was r99 we had msc just msc it was uh, handling both uh, cp and up control and media which you see here this is tdm but in r4 cs domain msc and media gateway is separated you see here mm, ms two msc are connected together so which of uh, some of these protocols, telephone user part, ISOP or BICC? Please 
please uh, pay attention to this part uh, in from this session i will tell a little about uh, in some episodes i will tell a little about uh, protocols here i like to say that we have some con call control protocols as we see here one of them is telephone user part which is old isop which is related to ss7 uh, bicc uh, which is right, uh, widely right now used in ip based networks it is a, a popular uh, popular uh, call control protocol in some countries and also SIP uh, which is very widely used um, especially in IMS Volta and also 5G 5G voice uh, which also right now will be um, fall back into Volta okay uh, so we see that uh, media gateway also can be based on IP or TDM or IP right now in these days all of them are IP and we don't see any any anything about TDM or ATM I think they are expired and no one use them long, uh, no one use them more okay uh, so I wanted to see the network architecture of these two release for you and uh, go a little uh, to the details of the MSC and media gateway uh, in the next episode, I will go through the details of uh, VLR, HSS, and some other nodes. And please uh, be informed that these are uh, these uh, training are just an introduction, a concept overview, and it is not the details. Uh, I want uh, to uh, produce this for just who those are interested and like to have an overview, get familiar with the concepts and uh, become ready for entering in this market. For the details, you can also ask me question or uh, send me email or something else or I can uh, design a specific course for you based on your request, okay? So I hope that this session would be informative and useful for you and hope to see you again, bye.